for the first time ever, random years actually meant random years. So in a previous video, you saw my inside the LCS that I had done where I picked up 11 American Silver Eagles and uh, I didn't have a chance to look at all the years at the time, but after taking them out, there were quite a few surprises. In a previous video, I stated how I did not like the fact that whenever you ordered random years off any of these, you know, like at Max or JM Bullion dealers, that you seem to always get the full, every, every one of the coins is the same exact year. So it's not really that random. You'll get a whole roll of 2013 or a whole roll of 2018 or 2019. Anyway, there was quite a surprise when I got home here and started checking all these years. That was an 88. Here's a 1990. And I got each and every one of these for 17.25 a piece. We're pretty happy with those, weren't we? Yeah, especially this one. Yeah. This one we took for a swing ride. Yeah, this is the one we used in Clever Coins Gall, the 1996. Yes, these ones carry a premium. 3.5 million of these were minted. So very, very happy to get a 96 in there. Quite surprised, actually. It's in beautiful shape, too. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. We show you how coins get milk spots. <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, then a 97. I'm surprised sort of to get one of these two. They really didn't start pumping major mintages of the uh, American Silver Eagle until like after, what was it, 2010, 11, where they really upped it to 30, 40 million, 50 million a year. These are still fairly low minted and then what is this one a 1999 so you know so far out of five of them five different dates now that's random mm -hmm. well that tony one's, yeah that one was probably an album we got a couple of them that have that toning around the edge yeah i don't care it doesn't bother me bullion's bullion Uh, 2001. So yeah, each and every, he, he doesn't care. I think he gets these, you know, off customers, pays them a flat price. And I, I don't even think he looks them over often. So he might not have even known he had a 96 in there. He just bought it for like, you know, 16 bucks himself. He's going to turn it loose to 1725 on me. And he still makes a buck, buck something right there. We have a 2002. And finally, a couple of duplicates. I have two 1996. Both of these have pretty good, you know, like she had said, had been in an album at one time or something, or one of those, like, Valentine's Day gift lenses that they put them in. Here's another 2006, the other one. So it was the only two coins out of the 11 that had duplicates. So, I'm very, very pleased with these random years ones that I gotten off him. And then the 2012, if you had remembered in that video, they were in a coin and stamp airtight. And all it did on the top of it was say genuine, so they weren't graded. So, of course, I busted those right out. This is doing nothing but going into a tube and going towards another roll for my monster box. Here's a 2013. Beautiful shape. Nothing special about them. It said genuine on there, so, well, there's 11 of the most random years purchase I have ever made off anyone. Very, very pleased with those. Seventeen twenty-five a piece at the time that I bought them, which was mid-May. I know this video is airing a little late, but trying to get through the collection and airing what I can, when I can. Well, Winning Image and I are going to say goodbye on this one. Goodbye. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video.